Well, what is up guys? Welcome back to the NW Sportscast and today is an absolute thriller of an episode. Gonzaga just won on a buzzer beater against UCLA. UCLA played absolutely amazing, but they're gonna have to wait till next year and I don't know if this is gonna be next year for UCLA, but either way, what a game guys. That was absolutely insane, but we're gonna be going over our UCLA, I mean our Gonzaga versus Baylor championship game predictions and this game's obviously just ended, so this is my gut prediction. Um, the both of these teams have been playing absolutely amazing, out of their minds. Um, they're probably the two best teams coming into the tournament. They're the two best teams um, ending the tournament, and they're going to be playing the championship game. Baylor against Houston, a little bit less entertaining of a game. I had Houston versus Baylor in my bracket. Um, I had Houston winning that game. Baylor ended up winning by nineteen. Um, however. Houston played pretty bad, too, but, I mean, Baylor has just been playing really lights out. Hasn't really had a close game in the tournament, and I think the closest game has been about nine points, and Gonzaga hasn't had a close game all year, except for against West Virginia, which was didn't go to OT or anything. I mean, it was close, but they still got the win. Um, and then UCLA takes them, and, guys, that should have gone into double OT, right? I mean, Jalen sucks. There's no way that guy's trying to hit a bank three. I mean, no, but, you know... Sometimes you put in a lot of work, and sometimes the universe just kind of rewards you. And uh, I'm happy for Jalen and Suggs. I'm happy for Gonzaga. They're going to make the tournament final and trying to win their first one ever. So let's get into my prediction. Baylor versus Gonzaga. Baylor, you obviously have Sasser. You have Grimes. Um, but just the key is they have a really, really deep um, deep bench. They, they have a lot of players that score. But obviously, Sasser is their guy. Marcus Sasser. Um, he has third, he, he played 39 minutes. He got 20 points against Houston, four rebounds and two assists. And then you have Grimes with 13 points on, uh, 37 minutes. But the big thing there is just, they can shoot the ball really well. They can play defense. And when their threes miss, which is rarely when they miss their shot, when they're slightly off guys, um, you know, they bounce back and they get that offensive rebound and they don't look at it. And if they don't get the offensive rebound, they go back and they play really good defense. You know, they're really, I don't know, they're, just, oh, they're, they're always to the ball um, and they're never going to get out rebounded. And Houston was meant to be one of the best rebounding teams in the country. And Baylor just said, nah, we're going to rebound the ball today. And that's exactly what they did. Gorham with six rebounds off only 26 minutes. White, five rebounds on 19 minutes. And that's just really what they do. Gonzaga, on the other side of things, won today by three. And Juzang had a really good game. That sucked for him. Um, his brother flew from Vietnam. That was, that was a tough story. But um, Kispert had 44 minutes. He actually played the most minutes out of the entire team tonight. Uh, he had five rebounds, four assists, and 15 points, so good night for him. He had that one really insane dunk, and, um, you know, he played good, but it all leads through Jalen Suggs and Drew Timmy. Drew Timmy had 37 minutes, but got him subbed out a little bit because he was in foul trouble, but he took that really crucial charge that pretty much uh, won them the game, in all honesty. I think Drew Zang's making that um, shot, and Drew Timmy somehow finds a way to hit it, and, uh, you know, Jalen Suggs obviously... He gets a steal um, a little earlier than that, then they go bound transition, and then Drew Timmy gets the dunk. I mean, these two are like one, two. Without Drew Timmy, Jalen Suggs wouldn't be the same. Without Jalen Suggs, Drew Timmy wouldn't be the same. But it all runs through them, guys. They have six guys that play a lot of minutes, and that, you know, that's Kispert, Timmy, Nim, Nimhard, um, I, who had a really good game, 22 points, started the game with 11 points in the first, like, five minutes. Then Jalen Suggs. And then after that, you have guys like Watson and Coke, but they only play a combined, combined about 20 minutes. Um, but this is the key to this game for them is to shoot the ball well, hold Baylor on rebounds because I know Baylor does really, really well, and hope Baylor misses threes. And for the key to Baylor is stopping Drew Timmy down in the paint because if Drew Timmy gets to you and if Timmy um, can get offensive rebounds, get his own misses, and work really well down low with that amazing footwork he has, um, it's going to be a tough night for you. I mean, it really is going to be a tough night for you. And then on the same side of things for um, Gonzaga, they got to out-rebound Baylor, and it's going to be tough, but I believe that Timmy, Kisper, etc. can do it. And then they also have to make their shots, you know. 
Um, there were stretches in the game where there was like four minutes without a field goal, there was three minutes without a field goal, and that's when you see they really clawed back. If they just made a couple threes in that time, um, the game would have been in entirely different to be to be completely honest because I think they go on a little bit of run there, continue it, but the runs kind of got stopped when UCLA called those timeouts, and then um, Gonzaga, Gonzaga went on a run, um, and then the timeout got called, and they kind of got slow after the timeouts there. So if, if they can avoid doing that, and if they can continue their runs after timeouts, I think that's going to be huge for them. Final prediction, I think Gonzaga's just played too well this year. They haven't lost yet. I know it's bold. A team's never, a team's never won um, since like the 60s with Indiana, who was undefeated. Um, but those teams all lost in the Final Four. Gonzaga made it past the biggest hurdle. Um, however, I think Baylor is the best team besides Gonzaga. I'm still going to give it to Gonzaga. I'm going to give Gonzaga 93 same scores tonight to 88. And um, this is going to be a close one down to the wire. I think it'll be a two or three point game. Kispert or Jalen Suggs is going to hit a three. And then they're going to have to fight back with fouls. I don't think Baylor's going to have it. I mean, I don't think Baylor's going to have it. I think Gonzaga's going to make the free throws. Gonzaga and Eastern Washington Spokane is going to have an absolute night. They're going to love it. I'm going to love it. I'm definitely going for Gonzaga. I kind of like UCLA in this matchup because I like the underdog. But these are both ones, and I'm going for my home state Gonzaga. I love Jalen Suggs. Love my boy Drew Timmy. Me, I'm Drew, and he's Drew, guys. This is just, I mean, I'm excited, guys. This is, a, this is an absolute thriller. Final prediction, 93-88. Gonzaga holds on. They win the national championship. I'm pumped, guys. I'm so pumped. Leave a comment down below. I'll be replying to every comment. And uh, peace out, guys. And uh, yeah, see ya.